Hello, my name is Clarence Hillard, and in today's video we're going to be going over NetEdit Discovery. So without further ado, this is one of my NetEdit instances. Uh, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm actually going to show you uh, how to get devices into a fresh version of NetEdit, and I'm also going to show you how to get devices in a version of NetEdit that already has some devices imported, and maybe you want to just uh, manually import a couple of devices as well. So here's my first instance of NetEdit. It's brand new. I have no devices in here. Uh, and there's a couple of ways I can get devices in here. So I can click the background of this topology and click Discover Devices. So that's one way. I can click Actions and I can go down here, click Discover Devices, and that's another way. I can also go over to Devices, Action once again, click Discover Devices. So I'm going to do it from the topology view, so as devices start getting imported, we can visually see them. So I'm going to go down here, click Discover Devices, and I'm going to enter in a subnet. Uh, so NetEdit works with a managed subnet. So all the devices that you want NetEdit to manage and, and I guess, have in your topology, uh, if they're a CX device, you're going to be able to actually, you know, have those devices and edit those configurations, etc. If they're a non-CX device, then they're just going to be in the topology and you can just kind of get a feel of where they're at in your network. But they have to be under a subnet. So what I'm going to do is enter in a subnet that I have. So 10.6.9.0.24. And I'm also going to add a credential set. So I've done this a couple of times, so I have the credential sets that I, I, I want, or at least the names. So I'm going to name it Rack uh, 69. And then I'm going to enter in the rest for my AOS CX devices. Then I'm going to enter in the SMP. And this is for all non AOS CX, uh, AOS CX devices that fall under that managed subnet. And then SSH. And this is required for non AOS CX devices and AOS CX devices. And that's so you can get the change validation state for when you do push a configuration, maybe you want to run some config, uh, uh, some show commands, excuse me, on a non AOS CX device and the same thing for AOS CX devices. So you, this is the credentials that it's going to use to log into that device and, and get that information for you. So I'm going to enter that in. Click create. So now that I've created a credential set, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a seed device. So there's a couple of seed devices I'm going to add. 10.9.17. And we're also going to go 10.6.9.18. So I'm going to add two seed devices at the same time. Another thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a more specific credential set. So I know one of the devices that sits under this 10.6.9 subnet is actually a controller and it has a different uh, login for SSH for when I'm doing uh, change validation. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a more specific subnet mask for that device. And I'm just going to do that by making a slash 32. So 10.6.9. Nine, I think it's IP slash thirty-two, and then I'm going to add a credential set. I name it controller, and then I don't need REST. I do need SNMP, and I just left it as public. And I do need uh, SSH credentials, so I'm going to enter those in. And I create it, and now that's under a more specific uh, credential set. So now instead of using this greater credential set uh, for all my rack and nine, it's going to use this credential set because it's more specific than the subnet above it. So I'm just going to click discover and you're going to see some devices appear here in a second. So as it's discovering, uh, NetEd is actually going to use the LLDP information of these two devices to see what's connected to it. And if they have the correct credentials that I can log into, then NetEdit is going to discover those devices and discover what's connected to them and it's slowly just going to populate uh, this topology view as devices are coming up. So here you see my controller, I didn't enter that in, you see a leaf box, and you see these two core switches. And slowly as it's doing its discovery, it'll, it'll populate and get LDP information and slowly add devices in here. 
So that's a fresh out of the box experience when you're discovering devices. What does it look like if I want to just add devices that are, are to a topology that's already existing? So I'm going to come over to my other instance of NetEdit. I'm going to give it a refresh to make sure I didn't time out. There we go. And here you see I have a big chunk missing. You can also see I grouped some of my devices in the topology view. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple more devices manually. So I'm going to right click the background, once again, click discover devices. And instead of adding that managed subnet, I'm actually just going to go right ahead and add some seed devices. And dot six dot nine dot twenty two. And then six nine dot thirteen. Two devices I'm gonna add. I'm gonna click discover on those two devices. And you can see it's discovered one, two, three, four, five devices. All that it had to do is enter in two devices and it's discovered three other devices uh, that are connected to it. Now, the reason I didn't actually have to uh, specify that managed credential set is because the managed subnet is tied to that credential set. So if I say this managed subnet is linked to this credential set, that's what's going, uh, Net is going to use whenever I add a seed device that falls under that managed subnet. It's automatically going to pick the credit correct credential set uh, attached to it. So that's what it did. It, I added these two, two devices because they fell under that subnet as C devices and they automatically got discovered and now they appear netted. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to group these guys really quickly. Floor 2, floor 3, there we go. So we're just going to put them in a building. Group. Another building too. Boom, there we go. So now they are my building too. It's all up and running and happy. So I can also do this for non uh, AOSCX devices. So same same logic applies. If it fall if it's a C device that falls under the proper subnet, all I have to do is click add ten dot six dot eight I think it's twenty two. Uh, I think maybe it's 28. Click Add, Discover. We're going to hope that I got the right <laughs> device IP. Doesn't look like it, so I'm going to think it's, I think it's actually 22. There we go. And we can see 8.22 has now appeared as well. So now if you wanted to actually manage your devices in your subnet mask and your credentials, you can do that in settings. So I'm going to click settings, manage subnets. And here you can actually see my managed subnets and they're tied to a credential set as well. So my credential sets are down here. So what I would typically do if I was going to add devices this way is I would come in here, I click the plus sign, add a brand new credential set. So let's go rack, oops, 6-7. I'd enter in my REST, my SNMP, my SSH. So I'm just going to add some stuff in here really quick. Let's go ahead, do public. go so add this credential set in and now that credential set is going to appear here but it's not doing anything until I tie it to a managed subnet so I'm going to tie it to a managed subnet by doing this so I'm going to type in 10 oops 10.6.7.0 
slash 24. And I'm going to tie it to that subnet. And now that subnet is using that credential set. If I wanted to edit this particular managed subnet, I can subtract it. And I can add it in, or I can I can do whatever I want to do here. Um, so if I want to move that 6.7.0 slash 24, and I wanted to use the same credential set as rec 69, I can do that. Right? And it will reuse the same credential set if I wanted to as well. Um, but in this case, I don't want it, so I'm just going to delete it. And if I want to go back and edit some credentials, I could go here, click Rec 69. I can actually edit this credential set, so I can say, yeah, it's not admin, whatever I put in here. And now it's admin uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1. Uh, is my password and I click save and now those credentials will be updated um, so and if I don't want that I can just use the subtraction sign and now we'll delete the following credentials so that is how you discover uh, devices within NetEdit and maintain and update your credentials and manage subnets thank you for listening